Can you name these animals? Can you name this yeah. one? Stephanie struggles with her words these days. This one's a high, high, I cannot say it, high loss and no. I can't say that word. Her mum had Alzheimer's disease and doctors think she may face the same problems with thinking and processing. I just don't remember anything. It's just gone. I don't know if I could have some sort of tablets to take, if I take a tablet and that starts it and it keeps my memory trying, you know, keeping my brain really still, you know, working and remembering. Stephanie is now one of the first to take part in a new study of a simple blood test that could diagnose dementia in its early stages. The Blood Biomarker Challenge will look at a series of proteins thought to be hallmarks of different forms of the disease, including Alzheimer's. Several thousand patients will be invited to take part with the aim of having an NHS verified blood test within five years. Just two in every 100 patients with Alzheimer's disease currently gets a formal diagnosis, either with a specialist brain scanner or a sample of fluid taken from their spines. The problem is, at the moment, the NHS doesn't have enough machines or trained staff, and that's why a blood test could make all the difference. A cheap and accurate diagnostic test is all the more important now that new drugs can slow the progress of dementia. So far, they're too costly for the NHS, but more are coming. There are a whole load of other drugs under development that are likely to come, be uh, licensed and potentially available on the NHS over the next few years. Now, those drugs are suitable for people who have fairly early levels of memory impairment, so we need to get the diagnosis right to see if people are eligible and will benefit from those drugs. Just under a million people in the UK have some form of dementia. Many wait years for a diagnosis, if they get one at all. Dementia is the UK's biggest killer. And what we know at the moment is that many people are not getting a diagnosis. About a third of people in this country do not get a diagnosis. But the Blood Biomarker Challenge is about revolutionising the diagnostic pathway. And the blood test is a key part of that. If you can copy this cube, for patients like Stephanie, a proper diagnosis will help her to get support and perhaps future treatment to live well now and into the future. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Oxford.